next one is the side raise. The side raise is for the shoulders as well. There's actually three heads to the shoulder. You got the front head, which goes into your chest. You've got the side head, which goes into your arms. And you've got the rear head, which goes into your back. For the side of the shoulders, the side of the head, or the side head of the shoulders, we're going to do the side shoulder raise. Side shoulder raise. Okay. With these, you don't want to have, you don't want to come up any higher than the level of your shoulders. Okay. If you come up any higher than this, basically you're going to just basically waste a lot of energy and have room for potential injury. Say that three times. Now, if you're getting really tired doing these, then what you want to do is you want to not stop unless, of course, this is your first time doing it. You don't want to overdo it. But once you get adjusted to the exercise, you want to come in front of you, and that's going to relieve the pressure for a couple seconds. Then you come straight up. You'll notice it immediately how it relieves the pressure. Once you get going with the exercise and coming in front of you and you feel less pressure, then come back to the side and try to get in one or two more reps. This is for the side of the shoulders. A couple hints with the side shoulder raise is when you're doing these, you don't want to be straight arm, okay? You don't want to be straight like this with your arms straight out. You always want to be locked at the joints. So when you're doing the side shoulder raise, have your arms slightly bent from the elbow. Side profile. See how the arms slightly bent? Yes. Okay. Side shoulder raises. You don't want to come up any higher than the level of your shoulder. Thanks for watching this, and we hope that you've learned something from it. God bless.